the thing that I actually look for is to try and understand why the person wants the job and what are their underlying values and how does this connect with their underlying values and what kind of person are they? Because I think that if they're the right fit for the team and they've got the right motivation, then the rest will follow. But it can be really hard to tell that from a resume. I think that particularly when it's a competitive job, I look at the quality of the resume and the quality of the preparation because I think if you really care about a job, you take the time to write a cover letter, to write it thoughtfully. You have a, you have a resume that's up to date, that's relatively succinct and easy for someone to read, and that has some interpretation in it. So not just these are all the jobs I've ever done, but I've summary at the top that says I've had frontline clinician experience, high level system experience, and what I really care about is clinician engagement. I don't know, for example. And I really like to see people have that kind of statement on their front page. And I have to say, I now have a professional value statement on the front page of my resume because it helps me connect with who that person is, not just what that person's done. The other thing at a very practical level is I really notice the, and this is a personal thing for me probably, the quality of the visual presentation. Because again, I think that shows that the person cares about their, their standards and how they come across. It doesn't have to have a photo, but I quite like if there is a photo because I feel like I can connect with that person if I can see that what they look like because you have a mental image otherwise of what they might look like. I do notice that, especially when I'm going through a lot of CVs. Ones with photos will catch my eye and ones that are formatted well and present well and are visually appealing will also catch my eye. 